Are you a beginning gardener and don't know where to start? Well, I got the where, the what, and the when right here. So come on, let's talk about it. Hey, welcome back to the farm. Uh, I'm going to talk today about two beginner gardeners, and I'm going to kind of, this will be a two part series. Uh, I'm going to talk about all the planting and stuff goes into it, and then later on in the couple weeks when it gets a little warmer, we'll do the, uh, the how part. But uh, I'm going to talk about the where, the when, and the, the uh, what, and the size today. So if you want to follow us on our journey, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. At the end of the video, gives a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that too. Uh, but let's start out with the where. And what I mean by where, your location. So you need to kind of know your yard and where you're going to put it at. Uh, the main thing is you want to put it in a an area where it drains really pretty good and it don't pond up. Like if you put it uh, in an area and it rains, you know, an inch or two, and you got a little pond right there, that's a no-go. You need good drainage. And another thing you need is uh, sunlight. Uh, you need at least six hours of sunlight a day. So uh, uh, you need to pick it to where, like where I'm standing at right now, my wife wants her own garden and I'm kind of basing that on that, on that, uh, basing this video on that. And uh, you can see it's getting late in the day and she's gonna have plenty of sunlight right here. And it drains really well too. It's got a nice little slope to it. Slopes away from the house. The house is right behind us. And another thing you need to consider is water. So I've got a water spigot right behind us. And if it gets dry, you know, we can come out here and water, not a big deal. It gets a big deal if you have to carry water all the time. So that's, that's my where. So location, sun, and water is your first consideration. Okay, my next thing is what? So you have to decide what you're gonna grow. Like uh, I'm basing this off what my wife wants to and uh, I don't know if you're new to the channel, but uh, we grow a market garden and uh, every year she's accusing me of selling all her stuff off. So uh, she decided she wanted her own garden last year at the end of summer. So I said, okay, I'll give you your own garden. So I'm kind of basing all this, our little journey here. So you can kind of follow us along on, on her garden. Uh, it's from scratch. And uh, next video, I'll show you how we get started on that in the how part. But, but she wants tomatoes, like slicing tomatoes. Uh, peppers, like she likes a variety of bell peppers, like, uh, well, I mean by variety, I mean like, uh, like of course, the green, the yellow, the orange, and the purple. Uh, we grow all those, yeah, uh, uh, red, the red bell peppers. I mean, they're all the, they're all bell pepper, but to the color, they make, you know, pretty presentations. And she, that's why I mean by variety of peppers. No, she won't grow any hot peppers up there, so. Squash. Uh, zucchini, cucumbers, and a few uh, green beans. We won't grow a whole lot. We won't grow most of our like our stuff we'd be canning. We'll grow. We'll get out of our big garden down here. But I got a couple of uh, uh, beans I'm going to experiment with. So we'll we'll plant them up there and see how they do. So that's the main thing. And uh, you know, of course, that goes hand in hand with my last thing. I'll have is the size. How much space have you got? Uh, but you need to kind of, you know, grow stuff that you like and that you got room for. Uh, like we wouldn't have room to grow a lot of beans up here. Uh, melons we couldn't grow. Corn you couldn't grow. Potatoes, stuff like that, root crops would be hard to grow up in here. So uh, you could grow a few and I, we'll talk about that when we get to the wind part. But, you know, you need to, you need to decide what you want because you got to get your seeds. That's the next thing you got to decide of, uh, you got to find the seeds that you want. Uh, like you can get them at uh, your local hardware store, your local nursery, your co-op. Uh, you can order them, order them online, like uh, uh, seeds and such. Uh, Baker's Creek is a good place. Uh, MI Gardener is a good place. Uh, just off the top of my head, that's, that's some really good places for a home gardener to get some good quality seeds. So, so that's my what. You know, you gotta know what you want to plant and uh, where you gonna get your stuff at. Your plants, like a tomato plant or a uh, pepper plant, you could get those. I mean, you can get them at Walmart. I don't, I never have had much luck at Walmart. Uh, Home Depot carries, in our area, carries a bonnie plant. That's a good plant, but they're expensive. 
You can also uh, go to the farmer's market sometimes early in the year and they'll have plants. Uh, our local high schools have FFA programs. You can get plants from them. Uh, and of course, their nurseries. We have a nursery here that has some pretty good plants. So that's some, point, that's some ideas where you can get your plants at. The next thing is when. When are you going to plant? Now, you need to figure out when your last frost date is. And you can go online and uh, you can go online and put your zip code in and they'll tell you when your last frost date is. Our last frost date is April 18th in my area and my zip code. And what that means is that that's the 50% line. So, you know, it's 50-50. That's the 50-50 line. In my area is April 14th, April 18th, so 50% uh, chance after and 50% before. So the longer you wait, the, the chances of having a frost go down. So like May, something I looked the other day, and it's like 20%. Now, two years ago, I had a frost May 4th, like to devastate us. Last year, we had one April 20, I think it was the 26th, caught us off guard. So you need to keep that in mind and uh, Every area is different. Even my thing about Tennessee, we have like so many microclimates here. I'll get a hard frost here. My mom and dad live four or five miles from here and they won't get a frost, you know, half the time that I get one. And I don't know if I, it's cause I live in this holler, I live in like a little holler and all the cold air comes down here and settles down there at my, at my garden or what, but I don't know what it is, but you know, if it's, if the news says it's 32, it's 25 down here so you need to keep that in mind uh your frost date and it, if you there's websites that you go to you put your zip code in there and it'll tell you the dates that you wait and how much longer you got now your cold crops like my cold crops i'll do 30 days before my last so about march 18th i'll start getting ready to do that like i'm talking about like potatoes you can plant carrots uh beets uh broccoli cabbage lettuce stuff like that you can plant about 30 days before that's what my, is the rule of thumb so you know check around your area i don't know where everybody lives but you know it, it's probably a little different in every area in every area so keep that in mind my last category is uh the size of the garden you want or what how big of a yard you got of course it all all this stuff in our you know inner mingles or is woven together so I mean, the size, your size that you got to plant your garden is going to dictate what kind of plants you got. Now, if you got acres, you know, you can plant anything you want. If you got a little yard and you got like, we're going to do like 15 by 20 up here. And uh, I told you what all we're going to plant in there. So that'd give you some idea. Like, uh, I know my dad plants on the side of his house an old flower bed. If you just got an old flower bed, you can put you a bunch of tomatoes, peppers in there. Uh, you could do containers, like a, a bottom of a, a 55 gallon drum. You could fill that full of uh, potting soil and plant in there, or a big, uh, uh, like a big planter, like a, those old whiskey barrels, or just anything with a, you know, a container or you could do raised beds i haven't ever done we haven't ever done any raised beds uh i tried to talk her into doing that this time and she didn't want to so uh it would have uh, gave you some good content but she didn't want to so blame it on her but, but that's another thing you know they make kits you can buy a kit at home depot tractor supply whatever and uh you know you put it together and fill it full of dirt or whatever you can also online uh, buy those metal rings kind of looks like a uh watering trough without the bottom if i was going to do one that's probably what i would do i think they look pretty cool and uh, i see a lot of youtubers doing that so keep that in mind too you do raised beds containers uh a raised uh uh containers too like i got one on my deck i got on sale you know it's about it's like a box on on legs and like i grow herbs and stuff in it but if you got a bad back or something like that i mean they're great because you just stand there like this you know you don't have to bend over all day long or on your knees so that's something you can look around and find something to do some gardening and uh, uh get you a little start i mean even 
you know, six tomato plants. You buy six pack of tomatoes, grow them. I mean, that's fantastic. So just keep that in mind as your size is the area that you got. If you lived in an apartment, you know, one time when I was real young, I grew a tomato plant in my, on my balcony, you know, when I lived in, in town. So you, you can do stuff like that. Uh, you know, just get out and try something. Don't be afraid to, to screw up or, you know, just kill something. When the first time I had a garden out here, when we first moved out here, I used to be able to buy tomato plants 25 at a time. I bought 25, planted them out there, came back three days later and they was all dead. You know, I didn't water them. I mean, you gotta water, you gotta take care of them and all that and, you know, you'll learn all that. But if you make a mistake like I did, it's not a big deal. You recover, uh, it don't, it don't, it's not gonna be devastating financially or whatever. And nobody's gonna make fun of you. Everybody screws up. So just keep that in mind, your size. So hope this was a big help. Uh, my next video on this, uh, probably in two or three weeks will be the how part. We'll start that garden up there our kitchen garden and uh, you can learn all the different techniques for turning your soil or whatever I'll go over all that of course I'll till my till it with a tractor but I'll talk about the other things you can do and uh, we'll get that planted and get going hopefully I know uh, it's 25 degrees out here and you're out here talking about gardening I know you're crazy but it's getting close I mean it's like March 14th or something like that so hey it's pie day so tomorrow, this video will come out tomorrow on Wednesday. So I hope it's been a big help. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everybody watching. Give us a thumbs up. It means a lot to us. If you've got any questions or you need to add something I left out, send me an email, leave a comment, and uh, I'll try to rectify it. So appreciate you watching. Support your local farmer. Uh, somebody asked me, and says, why do you support you? Say support your local farmer until you sell all this stuff and then you're trying to teach people how to grow. Well, you know, I'm not going to always be here. You kind of need to learn that most of my customers might grow a tomato plant or two and then they'll come to the farmer's market and buy, you know, quantities of stuff and stuff they don't have room to grow. And, you know, a lot of senior citizens come out there too that uh, don't, you know, it's hard for them to garden like they used to. And I'm about there, so I'm about a senior citizen, so I don't know how much longer I got, I'll be going down there buying. So, uh, that's one reason I, I think it's good I think it's great you have a lot of satisfaction I just want to encourage people to, to garden don't be afraid so support your local farmer give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and we'll see you down here in the next video